and this is Auto Talk. We're coming here with David McMillan and Mr. Buddy Blues, co-host. Buddy Blues. Yeah. Good morning, Nashville. You are listening to A to Z Auto Talk with Mr. David McMillan. Please give us a call today at 615-737-9865. You can also call in at 615-227-4870. And we're going to remind all of our listeners that we are coming to you live from WVOL, and we would like for you to start listening to us on the Internet. On WVOL, is on 24 hours a day on the Internet. That is www.wvol1470. And good morning, Mr. McMillan. Good morning. I would like to say this is the day that the Lord has made, and we're going to be glad and rejoice in it today. And today is Sunday, June the 25th, I think, the day after... Uh, Father's Day. Uh, we had this Father's show after Father's Day. Yeah, you know, Day, after yes, Father's sir. Day, we start having these uh, reunions, family reunions. If you never went to a family reunion, you might have a family union. Do I have to go, Dad? Yeah, you need to go to the union, not the reunion. If you didn't go last year, it's a union. You went, if you went last year, it's a reunion. So anyway, so we don't, we're don't. really going to talk about summer travel. Yes, sir. But before we do that, you want to do some commercials, Mr. Yes, Mr. sir. I would like to mention our great sponsors, Today's show is being sponsored by Curtis Print All. Curtis Print All is located here in Nashville at 3530 West Hampton Avenue, Nashville, Tennessee. That phone number here in Nashville is 615-400-5817. And there's another number for Curtis. You can call that's a direct number. This number is for the office. This number is 615 615- Eight seven six zero zero eight eight, and once again is my good old friend Mr. Adam Boyd, better known as Will A. Ellis. His number is six one five nine seven two zero one two six. Auto repair, no job too big, too small, Mr. Adam Boyd. His location is twelve eleven Brick Church, right here in Nashville, Tennessee. Let me say that one more time. Mr. Attaboy, a personal friend of mine, great mechanic, that is 615-972-0126. And the best sponsor of the day is Mr. Prim's Automotive. Thank you, Mr. Ramsey. Mr. Ramsey is located at 801 East Trinity Lane here in Nashville, Tennessee, and that number is 615-228-4478. And good morning, Mr. McMillan. Good morning again. Yeah. Yes, sir. And we were going to talk about uh, summer <coughs> travel. And a lot of times people, you know, you might get a new car, you might uh, lease a car this time of year, and you want to try it out, go out of town or whatever. And we're going to talk about some of the things that make us safe when we go out of town. We, a lot of time we want no problem, like you might have a key lost, you lose a key or something. I remember having that to happen to me once go out of town in a strange area and have a car problem. Say like a, a lost key can be a major problem with these cars you, they have now with these, uh, I can't pronounce that thing they put in the car, the fob, the fob. Or I call a it big, a key bob. A key bob, or whatever yeah. the big thing is. It's they, got a panic button on it. It's got plenty, <laughs> it's got plenty of accessories on that little thing. It's got that, you can open your door, you can lock the door, you can let your windows down, you can open your trunk. It can even start the car remote start. This thing has a lot of gadgets on it. This thing that they use for a key. And plus, if you lose that, it can cost you, it can cost you dearly if you're somewhere, let's say in uh, Vegas or somewhere out of town. Or, oh, you know, not in from So what area. is a good suggestion? So while I'm out on the road, away from home, what should I do, Mr. McMillan? I would think, I would have a... It'd be cheaper to have one made, you know, have a spare, uh, you know, produced before you leave and put it in, in a safe spot in your wife's purse. Don't lock it in the trunk of your car. Or you just have, it, have a spare key with you at all times. You know, you know what you really have just done, Mr. McMillan, you have given me permission to ask my wife for an extra key to her car. While we're on the road. We go on the road <laughs> only. On the road. on the road only. Now, yeah. you heard that from Mr. Yeah. McMillan. Yeah. Now, that, now, when you get home, make sure she put the key in the house. Oh, don't worry. She, she might not even take me back home. Yeah. But she, I, so, uh, if two people have a key apiece, key. there's a greater chance yeah. that... I know I might lose mine, but mine comes with a string around the neck. I'm a right. latch key kid, but having two keys is a great suggestion. Spare. Have a spare of a key. Have a, you might want a spare 
belt, separate team belt. And yeah. you have, and it, for God's sake, you're going across the desert like you're going across to, you're going to drive to California. Arizona. Somewhere. Yeah, have some, Arizona, some place like that. You might want to have two GPS uh, devices because I had that problem before I was going to uh, Georgia, somewhere in Georgia, Newton, Georgia, Holton, Georgia, somewhere in Georgia. And we had a GPS thing, a uh, device, and it got lost. The GPS got lost, except it started taking me in different directions. But we also had a, another passenger in the car that had a backup, which I think is a good thing. Because if you don't know where that. you're going, you need two. <laughs> it, nothing wrong with having a backup. No uh, backup. You need a backup. I'll be honest. I still use a compass. <laughs> uh, well, anyway, <laughs> this thing got to sell me to get off of road that I didn't know that, that it didn't exist. I mean, the other states, they turn right here, turn left there. But but just in, just we had a backup. Plus, I had a, uh, what you call it, when they listed on the paper. When you yes, your directions. Your directions on the paper, that, that helped me a whole lot. I had that sent to me. Now, that was the best backup, backup that you pre-planned your trip. But I'm amazed. That's a great suggestion I hadn't thought of because I always have extra keys to the car, but when I leave town, I don't actually bring them with me. And that's the best time to have that extra When you key. need an extra key, now, if you lose the key somewhere at a service station, you say you're out, way out, it's going to cost you some real money to have a key, a duplicate made. Plus, if you have the, what you call it, that fob or that, yeah, that, key big, ball. Device, that big device thing, got all these gadgets on it. And you've got to have it reprogrammed. You might have to find a dealer to program That's it. That's true. And you don't have to have that, but you need to have one pre-programmed that you can get to without having all the stuff done in the emergency situation. Well, those are great suggestions that can help in the prevent of an accident or off-occurrence. Or it's always great to be prepared, and I like how you said that you wrote down the directions on paper, because I'm right. always yeah, doing had paper to, guy. Yeah, I had to write it down. Just in case something goes wrong with the GPS, the battery can run low. <laughs> the battery go down, and it, it, it can just lose its mind. That's what happened. The GPS lost yeah. its mind. It got lost. It got lost. Yeah, we, we so far up in Georgia, if you get off in those uh, tall pine trees, yeah. it can block that signal. And that's what the guy was telling me. He said, well, you're down in Georgia, you know, stuff can happen now. You know, strange things happen down there. So anyway, so that's what happened to me, and uh, and that's that's I, I hate to even think about it, cause I was so lost. I don't know. I I enjoy getting lost sometimes. I, say, I find new places. It's a new adventure, adventure exploring. exploring. You're not lost. You're exploring. exploring. You're a new, <laughs> new new area. New area. I got so lost. I got scared. You know, sometimes yeah. I don't want to get that lost anymore. So that's why I say have a backup plan for this. Yes, sir. And uh, another thing I was I was thinking about too. It uh, the fuel. I, I suggest uh, when you driving long distance, try to use the best fuel, because when you go in different areas, the, sometimes the fuel is a little different, and if you're using the high test fuel, it helps that catalytic converter. A lot of people don't know that regular gas, it burns that catalytic converter out because it has that low octane and it has uh, it has an effect. On it. That's why it actually is important. Import car, they would say use uh, unleaded, uh, premium unleaded. Some cars have it rolled in their dash, what kind of gas to use. They do that because it protects that Cadillac converter. I, I did a little research on that. Yes, sir. So when you're traveling, try to use the best gas, so you got a steady, steady flame going through your Cadillac converter, and you got a steady flame in the engine. You want to use the best fuel. And I found a lot of time when you're going on a long trip, uh, premium gas. Last long, you get both mileage, better mileage out of the premium gas. That is true. Out of the regular gas, so it might cost. You might think you spend a little bit more money, but you're actually saving more money because you don't burn as much fuel if you drive it like you're running 70, 80 miles an hour. That's a lot of gas going through that Cadillac and running this thing hot for at least four or five hours before you stop and refill. So you need to be, try the best. Ride it. I always try the best out of the premium fuel when I'm traveling. I love to try. I love to drive. I love to drive. I, I, I was in Vegas. We were in the car and drove to Berkeley. I didn't know it was a seven hour drive. But yes, it's a nice little <laughs> ride across the desert. Across that Mojave Desert. But most so, people go from Berkeley to Vegas. See, and then they there. walk back home. Walk yeah. back to. Then you well, walk from Vegas. Right, because you, you know, I went to Vegas, was on the plane, had to come back on the bus. Because oh, okay. I, I had 
went too deep in the pockets after you I in, will you were really initiated into the Vegas experience that we don't talk about. No, we'll talk Stay about in that. Vegas. <laughs> it's, it's staying in Vegas. That's my yeah, um, staying in Vegas. Yeah, Vegas. Well, Mr. McMillan, yeah. I would like to make you aware of a great thing that I heard of. It's called Auto Rescue. Auto Rescue is a community project sponsored by Mr. David McMillan. If there's a vehicle or a car on your property you'd like to have removed at no cost to you, <clears throat> excuse me, you can call Mr. McMillan, and that number is 615. 615- Four seven four three zero three nine. Please call him after the show, and that vehicle can be removed. But one of the great things I like to think about today is Curtis Printall. Curtis Printall is a nice business here locally in town, located at thirty five thirty West Hampton in Nashville, West Hampton Avenue, and that number is six one five eight seven six zero zero eight eight. They make cars, they make about anything you can imagine that can be printed. They can make it and they're open to your suggestion. So just down at Curtis Print, I'll give them a call and just mention because you, you might need programs. You might have an event come up and you might need flyers. You might need business cards or that old thing that we need so much you might need a resume. The first impression someone has of you would be that resume and Curtis Print All could do the best job. Let me say that number one more time. Curtis Print All, and these are color printster, or whatever you design or can come up with, and that number is 615-876-0088. Yeah, I'd like to add, too. Yes, well, sir. Mr. Curtis Print All, he prints on both sides of the car that same paper. A lot of people don't know about they print on both sides of the car. You can have... Uh, two two business in one. You print on both sides of the car in color and whatever you want to print. Once again, I am looking at this car, and I know you're not going to let me have it, but this is a very nice car that's laminated, and I think I might have to borrow this Curtis Print All call. But Curtis Print All number is six one five eight seven six zero zero eight eight. Yes, and we're going to go on back into the program. I was, yes, sir. I was thinking about some other stuff too, and. Uh, you know, when you travel, you might have a breakdown or something of this nature. And if you, uh, your vehicle have a warranty, and that's one thing we don't think about. Like, we have a warranty on our vehicle. We like, we say, I bought my vehicle and I got a warranty on it. Yes, sir. And I might not have all my documents saying where I had my service done or whatever this nature. I'm going to have a town. How do I prove that my warranty is valid? I mean, how do I do that? I, mean, I understand. So you might have to, if it's on the weekend, it's going to be hard to do. They're but, close. Yeah, they're close. <laughs> so we have to try to keep documentation with the, when you're, with, when you're, when you're traveling. Keep your automotive documentation. Keep, just like your driver's license. If you had your oil changed at, at the proper time, what, that's what we're going to ask you first thing. If you have an engine problem, the first thing the They want to know service if you kept it up your service Service record. manager, he's going to ask you for that service record. So, uh, because they don't want to really do this. Because this is a warranty type thing. They, but they well, don't try to I, I will it. say that you have to have proper uh, documentation. Pay, documentation of these facts. And it's easy to do those things. <clears throat> and most of the times you could just ask your mechanic to give you a hand with that stuff. And that's why when I'm getting my car repaired... I like to use Mr. Prim Automotive. Mr. Prim Automotive is located here in Nashville, Tennessee, at 801 East Trinity Lane. His phone number is 615-228-4478. He sells cars. He knows all about how to get them licensed, and he can give you advice on how to get through admissions, which you call Marta here in town. And that's Prim Automotive. Thank you, Mr. Mike Ramsey. One more time with your phone number, and that is 615-228-4478. Yes, and uh, I would like to mention, too, if you'd like to call into the radio station here this morning. Yes, you can reach us here at WL, and that number is 615-737-9865 and 615-227-1470. And if you'd like to have your... Your uh, business announced on the radio. You can contact me, uh, Mr. Hyberg, here at the radio station. You can contact me at uh, what's the number six one five four seven four three zero three nine. Yeah, and we'd love to put you on. 